Hi guys, my name is Balfire and welcome to my channel. Uh, so today we're literally just going to show you guys how to put, uh, sorry, how to export a VRM file from VRIN Studio. So my first piece of advice for you, uh, I'm actually doing this video for a friend, but I thought I'd share it here so you guys can see how to do it too. Uh, so my first, first, first thing that I think is important for you guys is to make a VWord folder on your desktop. So if you look on my desktop there is a file here called balfire which by the way is me <laughs> so here is the file now you'll see inside is balfire avatars if we click that you'll see all my different avatars now this step is really important for uh, a later step so please bear this in mind if you don't know how to set a file on your pc you literally want to right click your mouse then you want to click new and then you want to click folder and then you can literally change the name of the folder and put that on your desktop i do not need that folder so i'm gonna delete it <laughs> but that is as easy as it is okay but mine is already there and ready okay so our next step is to open up viewer studio now we'll click here now i'm gonna actually x off that guys and take you back right to the beginning so i can show you so we're gonna open up viewer studio like this really simple we're gonna put that on full screen so we're not gonna worry like blah, 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 in the corners <laughs> sorry I'm so strange okay then we will get all our avatars up once we open viewer studio if you haven't got an av any avatars don't worry uh, cuz you will have <laughs> so don't worry so I'm gonna show you with just a um, one of the viewer studio avatars cuz mine are all already saved so I'm going to click Vivi, <laughs> such a cute name. Okay, so I'm going to click on Vivi and it'll take a minute to load. Uh, it's just thinking, <laughs> so just give it a sec. Okay, so once you get in, you'll have this moment where you're not quite loaded in, but then your dress will do or your whatever it is, your avatar will do a little pop pop. Let's just talk about how cute she is. Anyhow, so. One of the things you can do is I'll just show you some quick, easy steps. I like to put my avatar in the middle of my screen. Uh, and to do that, you just want to click on your mouse, like on your mouse scroll button. And then you can move your avatar around like this. If you want to just move it like um, in different directions, you can click on your right button and that'll just move you around like this. Ooh, that makes you dizzy. So you're going to right click on your mouse and then you're just going to move your mouse, which will it in and around if you want to zoom in and out you can just scroll like this with your mouse button your mouse scroll button and that will scroom scroom <laughs> scroom <laughs> okay that will scroll your avatar out and in so that's just some easy stuff for you guys to know now the next step uh is first of all save your avatar okay so first start importing your file make sure your avatar is saved so we're going to go and file and save as, okay? And then you're going to give your avatar a name. I'm just going to call this test avatar. But obviously, uh, make your own name <laughs> for your own avatar. And then we're going to save that. Now, that is important. So when we export the avatar, we know what it's called. Okay, so the next step is to go into camera and exporter. Ah, okay, guys, this is something that you will come across. When you're saving your VTuber, uh, sometimes Viewer Studio now, if this is only my Viewer Studio and I'm doing something wrong, then let me know. But sometimes it'll say when it's saving that it's not responding. You just need to wait for a few seconds uh, just for it to process what it's doing, have a little think, uh, and then it'll come back and your avatar will be saved. So then what we're going to do is we're going to click camera and exporter because what we want to do is get that VRM file off VRoid and into a place that we can use it. Okay, so again, I'm just going to move little Vivi up. She's so cute. <laughs> and I'm going to click export. And the next step will be export again. So then it'll ask you for a name, an author. Okay, so I'm just going to put test VTuber test avatar and I'm gonna put me because <laughs> that's who it is you know it's not me but you understand it'll be your own uh, so then you want to click allow permissions 
whatever it suits you and you're going to click OK. Now what we're going to do is we've got our test avatar and we're in our, it takes me straight to my um, avatar folder because uh, that's where I normally save. But you guys remember I said, I said, make sure you make an avatar folder on your desktop. So mine is inside here. So I click Balfire, which is me. Then I click Balfire avatars. Now this is the folder you guys would have made. This is why this was important if you remember. And what we're going to do is we're going to click save. And we're going to save that straight into our um, avatar folder. Okay, so that that is literally how simple it is, guys. So now we're going to minus down the screen. We're going to click on our avatar folder. We're going to click Bellfire avatars. And then if we go to the bottom, we'll see our new avatar. So that's the test avatar VRM, which is what we were just working on, little BB. And you can now use that file wherever you like. So you could use it in BC Face, you could use it in VRM Dolly Player, you could use it absolutely anywhere you like. You can send it on Discord. My purpose for this video is um, my friend has wanted me to do some edits to their avatar, so <laughs> they need this to see how to export it. So I thought I'd share it with you guys in case it was helpful to you. Uh, but yeah, so thank you all for watching. I hope this is helpful to somebody. Um, and I hope you have all the most wonderful day. My name is Balfour Little. Uh, I am a Twitch streamer, so if you would want to check me out, then please do. You can find me on Twitch at Balfour Little. Uh, also, if you're here on YouTube, why not give me a like, even a subscribe? I'd really appreciate it. And give me a follow on Twitch. I stream on Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Most of the time from 7 p.m. till 10 p.m. GMT. There are some different... Uh, <laughs> I can't speak. There are some weeks where it's a little bit different. But I try to skip, stick to my schedule as much as I can. I play Pokemon. I play Animal Crossing. And I play Dauntless. So, yeah. We'd love to see you guys. Anyhow. Anyhow. I hope this video was helpful to you. And I hope you have the most wonderful day. And I will see you all very soon. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Bye.